CPOs, CPOs, CPOs. Our neighbors must think we're crazy. It's fine. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> what's up? It's Mike, it's Yulia, and we are here today talking about the best Facebook ads you can run. And what are they? Retargeting ads. And what's the best way you can run retargeting ads? Stay tuned and keep on watching. So you guys may or may not know that Facebook is switching over to everything mandatory CBO starting February 24th yes. or 26th. So all ads have to be structured as campaign budget, budget optimization, optimization CBOs. So we've done a previous series teaching you guys how to make highly convertible CBO ads. To cold traffic. To cold traffic. But in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to retarget potential buyers and turn them into paying customers with retargeting ads. We're gonna show you the most optimized way that you can structure them with CBOs. Regardless of whether or not they're mandatory, CBO retargeting ads are the most effective ads you can run. So if you wanna learn how to do that, then like and subscribe so we know you like this kind of stuff. Yes, and if and you're new watching. here, where you been? So before we dive into all of the content, we obviously want to address the uh, huge major situation that's going on right now as of February 5th, which is the coronavirus in China. So if you're drop shipping, most of you probably drop ship items from China, whether they're manufactured in China or they ship directly from China. So this okay. definitely affects you. So for us, we've had to shut down our ads like probably most of you hopefully have done. Um, and so in the meantime, it's good to control what you can control. Um, so it's a really great time to optimize your store, really look at your emails, um, learn the right strategies for advertising yes. so that as soon as things come back on in China, which should hopefully be February 9th or 10th, um, you can hit the ground running and really crush it. So really use this time to prepare yourself. Yes. With that being said, let's dive into let's CBO. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so we generally run two different types of retargeting campaigns, both with the same exact structure. But the first one, we're, we're using our pixel to retarget people who've added to cart, but we exclude people who've purchased there. And in the other one, we retarget people based on the pixel who visited our website, but we exclude people who've added to cart or purchased. Yes, so just website visitors. Yes, so this is the structure we do for them and I'll show you just one of them. Um, at the campaign level here, first we start off with, this is our campaign level and we'll call it our ATC retarget. So these are people who have added to cart but not purchased. And this is the campaign level and we set some budget here, usually about 20% of what we like spend in general. Yeah. yeah, so this is the campaign. And under here we have several ad sets. Um, I try to generally go, well, the, one, the example I wanna show you is six of them. But what we're doing here is we're breaking ad sets up based on time. So this is how long ago each person has added the item to their cart. So these are our ad sets, A, S. And the first one here is people who've added to cart today. So this is people who have added to cart on days zero through one. And we do this just by a custom audience where um, we're choosing people who've added to cart but not purchased within the last one day. And then the next one we do here is days two to four. Wow, it's four. I was like, that's how I four. We have here days five to seven. Wow. That's how I seven as well. Um, and then here, eight to 10, uh, 11 to 14 days. And then the last one here is 15 to 30. Now, generally we're doing um, lower, um, what would you call lower ticket items here? So we break these down based on these days like this. Um, for us, for our lower t ticket items, most people purchase within the first week right away. Uh, some people in the second week. And then we get much less as time goes on. So that's why 15 to 30 is uh, a much larger group of time, whereas the rest of these are 
about three to four days, and especially in the beginning, it's even shorter, just one day here, things like that. And the beauty of having this structured as a CBO is like you set your budget up here at the campaign level, and then Facebook is going to figure out which one of these audiences to spend the most amount of money on. So it's going to figure out, you know, like let's say you have a hundred dollar, you know, budget for the campaign. It's going to say maybe ten dollars here, five dollars here, twenty dollars here, whatever. So Facebook figures that out for you. Yeah, exactly. So if we did this, and from what we see from experience, if we had a hundred dollar a day CBO like this, Facebook starts to learn really quickly, and we see here that maybe it spends, you know, sixty dollars on day one. $30 on day two because this is uh, lower ticket items and people buy um, almost right away and then we get five dollars here three and I don't even know what we're adding math now is that nice it's a one dollar one dollar <laughs> and sometimes it, sometimes it spends over the budget you know so but anyway um, we can see that the budgets change like that um, and so that really is cool too because it tells you, uh, you learn so much more about the buyer behavior too. You really see, okay, like some people, you'll be surprised. Some people, maybe you get a lot more budget spent on week two and you realize that, hey, um, uh, people need to see this product for longer and need to see it more times before they actually buy. Um, which is really cool. Now for each one of these ad sets, we break it down. We have, roughly five ads going at a time. Um, so like one, two, dot, 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 five. So this is ad five. You know, this is the way my brain works. I'm not sure yeah, if you guys like get it. I'm a little it. bit confused, but it seems like it's pulling from five different ad creatives. Yeah, so we do five different ad creatives. So this is ad number one. This is ad number two, three, and four. And here we have ad number five. And we run actually these exact same ads into each one of these audiences. So we have the exact same structure going on here with one, two, dot, 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 five. And now again, the beauty of this all being structured as uh, CBO is Facebook is gonna figure out which ad is the best one for each audience. So with these five different ad creatives, we are trying to target the audience from different perspectives. So one way is urgency, right? So saying you only have a limited amount left in stock or, um, you know, this is the last batch you have and you're not sure when you're going to order more, right? So getting them with that urgency. Another way is by offering them a discount, mm -hmm. right? So saying, hey, you abandoned your car, here's 20% off, you know, your purchase. Get them that way. Another way, and this is one of my favorites, is social proof. So a lot of times people don't know what your brand is, right? Because you're brand new usually. And so sharing a customer testimonial or saying we have, you know, 100 happy customers that is a really effective way of retargeting because you're saying like, hey, you know, we're actually a legitimate brand. Absolutely. Um, so let's kind of see how this looks in action here. So yeah, this is one that we ran earlier in January for one product on one of our stores where we structure it this way. Um, and in this, for this particular product, uh, we have really great margins. So our break-even ROIS here is 1.19. Shameless plug. If you want to know your break-even numbers, get our free break-even calculator in the link below. <laughs> Absolutely. So this one is really interesting. You can see we spent uh, just under $3,000 here um, with $1,500 almost going to day one retargets. So this is a low price point item, and it's really an impulse buy, and we really see that day zero through one is getting the majority of the spend. Um, and then in, it actually is spending in order that you would expect, day zero to one, then two to four, five to seven. So the more recent ones, Facebook has learned to spend more money there. Um, and we can see here that all, every single one of them is extremely profitable except day eight through 10 and 11 through 14. Um, and the way this started was if Facebook doesn't know what the days mean. They just see different ad sets. Um, so in the beginning, in first couple of days, it might kind of spend a little more evenly, and it kind of realizes that 
these two ones here. It learned pretty quickly that these two ones here don't make that much money, including this last one too. So it stops spending so much money there and really starts to spend much more money towards the ones that we're doing best, which is how CDOs are supposed to work. Interestingly enough, I probably, if I wasn't running them in this direction or this manner, I wouldn't have normally retargeted mm -hmm. uh, days 15 through 30, but you can see that we actually got two nice purchases there and made a pretty good ROIS, so good. just good to see that. Um, so I learned a lot about the way our, or we learned a lot about our customers here and realized that this is an impulse buy and day one is really the best here. So if you're having questions on maybe how you define these different audiences based on the days, we can look at some of these here. So let's look at days 11 through 14. Okay, so if I scroll down here to our custom audience, I can, I already have it in there, but if I go to create new custom audience, this is how I built it off of website. So we'll create an audience here where we do people who added to cart in the past, what is this, 11, 14, in the past 14 days, but we exclude people who have added to cart in the past 11 days. So then these are people who add to cart in the last four, in days 11 to 14. So we create the audience like that. And as you can see, that's our visitors day or add to carts days 11 through 14. Um, and we exclude also people who purchased in our case in the last 180 days. We are just trying to do this solely to people who just added to cart and who are brand new customers or have, are yet to be customers. Nice. And that's how we do it. And by the way, guys, if you haven't checked out our series yet on how to make highly profitable ads to a cold audience, make sure you click the links below and check those out. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. once you're done doing that, obviously set up your retargeting and then like and subscribe this channel. And what else? Let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, let us know if it works for you. I don't know. Are you guys Send trying something different? Let us know how you retarget. We're happy to talk about it. Happy to talk about it. Peace. Love.